What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman and today's Daily Fix, PlayStation Plus free games for May, a new Assassin's Creed revealed, and movie theaters in Universal have beef. Roll the thing. Bad news first. Although rumor had it that Dark Souls and Dying Light were coming to PlayStation Plus for May, it turns out no. But we do have your PlayStation Plus free games for May, and they're both relaxing. So if you're dying of boredom in the darkness of quarantine, check it out. According to the PlayStation blog, both City Skylines and Farming Simulator 19 will be free for PlayStation Plus subscribers from May 5th through June 1st. City Skylines is a city builder and management game that lets you develop small communities into a sprawling mega metropolis. Think Animal Crossing once you've unlocked terraforming, but without the crippling debt to Tom Nook and much more involved. Or SimCity, that's probably a better comparison. Now that I've got you thinking about crossing animals, have you ever wanted them not to be your neighbors, but rather your livelihood? If you said yes, Farming Simulator 19 is the game for you. You'll harvest crops, raise livestock, even drive around in a tractor. Exhilarating. It honestly does sound extremely zen, which is something we all need a little more of these days. And if neither of those sound particularly enticing to you, it's not too late to play April's PlayStation Plus free games, which includes Uncharted 4, or if you have an Xbox, you can check out their games with gold for May, which include V Rally 4 and Overlord 2, among others. I'm personally super excited for Cities Skylines. Are you gonna give any of these games a try? Let me know in the comments. Assassin's Creed fans, rejoice. Clack your wrist blades in celebration, jump into the hay. We finally know the setting for the next AC game. And the rumors were true. It is indeed set in the Viking era. Here's hoping you will get to kill someone with a horned helmet. The news comes from a Ubisoft stream featuring digital artist Boss Logic, who revealed the location by painting it live. The image has two halves. One side looks frozen with a body of water and Viking longships sailing around. The other half features the ruins of a castle with what seemed to be Anglo-Saxon warriors clashing in the foreground. You history buffs already know Anglo-Saxon warriors commonly defended against Viking attacks in Britain. I knew that off the top of my head as well. Good for us. And in the center, splitting the two settings is none other than a burly Viking. Maybe that'll be our protagonist. Maybe it's just a rad Viking. We're not complaining either way. Plus, we even got ourselves a title, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And hat tip to Yubi for such a creative reveal. It was really neat to see the artwork transform. Good work, Boss Logic. Did you tune into the stream and watch the reveal live? How do you feel about an Assassin's Creed focused on Vikings? Let us know in the comments. And in a dramatic turn, AMC Theaters says it will no longer show Universal Pictures releases once theaters reopen, citing Universal's decision to release some of their movies early to VOD. This all went down after Universal reported how well Trolls World Tour had done in VOD and noted that this could be a possible model for other releases. When theaters shut down in mid-March due to the pandemic, Universal released their Trolls sequel digitally, which affords them a larger share of the profits than traditional ticket sales. Theaters weren't exactly stoked about it. Ultimately, Universal made more revenue from Trolls World Tour after three weeks of digital release than they did from five months of running the original Trolls in theaters. Now, that's not a one-to-one -one comparison because they are obviously two different movies, but studios retain 80% of the profits from a VOD release rather than the 50 they get from theatrical box offices. After Universal's report, AMC Theaters CEO sent a letter to Universal Filmed Entertainment Group that that basically said, because of that decision, AMC will no longer show Universal movies at their theaters. AMC did say they're willing to sit down with Universal and try to figure things out, so shots fired, but they theoretically could unfire them later. Nevertheless, this is a bold move. AMC seems to be on the brink of bankruptcy and Universal has some huge properties like Jurassic Park, not to mention Fast and Furious, Haunt Forever. Universal then issued a statement in response to AMC's letter, which more or less says that they feel they made the right decision considering the circumstances and that they still believe in theatrical releases for future films, quote, as well as PVOD when that distribution outlet makes sense. To add more fuel to the fire, Regal Theaters will also be banning Universal movies as well. I personally can't see them actually following through with this, but in the end, time will tell. And when it does, I'll be sure to update you. And that was your daily fix. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our video of the first nine minutes of Streets of Rage 4. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.